almost there, but I'm struggling a little bit. Because it's, it, this is just too big. And I can't stretch this enough to get the look that I want. So. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen Geely. Let's get into the video. This is what is left over from a previous project which I've put to here. And that project was fun. And that top is amazing. So this is a bottom section that was left over from that. And I'm going to be taking this and making it into a bag. So I'm looking forward to that. I haven't worked with fringing as such for when it comes to accessories. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. So I've got this, which is the bottom section of that outfit I've told you about. And I've also got this bag. It used to be an, an old bag of mine. And all I did was cut the top of it off. Um, you can probably see there it's got markers of where it used to have a little pocket on the front. Um, so yeah, and see some handles out of that there. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I did was I cut the top half of it off and then I just secured the seams here. I just did a back stitch over and over again on each of the seams just to make sure that it doesn't unravel the stitching. You can glue it as well and that is possible. Um, so the, the, there was a lining originally with, with the bag but um, it was a bit old and I didn't really want it to be part of this bag but I kind of like the inside of it. I like it has this leather look, it's faux leather. Um, but I'll probably put, not probably, I'll definitely put a base at the bottom of that even though there is a pretty strong base anyway um, just to make sure that it looks a bit neater but I just like the way it looks as it is so and I've also got a closure as well a snap closure that I'm going to be putting on I don't even know where to start really now right okay there was a zip in the side of this so I'm going to zip that up I've also kind of reinforced the end so the slide doesn't come off. And then I'm going to just put the bag inside. Actually, the best thing for me to do is to bring you down, isn't it? Oh, that's looking fun already. Okay, I'm going to bring you down now. The bag. This is going to be covering the body of the bag. I've got some handles here. And I've also got the original handle from the this bag and um, it's quite thick so I'm hoping that if I pull this apart yeah I can have one for each handle yeah so let's just check the put the bag inside like so So I want to keep this raw because I think that's lovely. I was probably thinking about snaps, but I'm not sure just yet. And this is bigger. So there's a lot of fullness that I need to ease into the bag without creating any tucks, pleats, gathers. Um, so it's going to be raw edge, which is lovely. So, and I want to, and you can see the raw edge here, I want the trimming, the top of the fringe trimming to be sewn onto the bag like this. So that's a neat, a neat finish there. So it's probably about there, isn't it? We'll just use a clip as an indicator here, the centre, so that's going to be sewn all the way around like that and that's, that's quite a nice contrast as well. So I need to put the handles on first. 